how can we find strength in God's words at a difficult period? It's a challenge all of us are facing today as Christians, as children of God, and as believers. Now we're going to discuss a few things that can give us strength at a challenging period as Christians, as believers, as those who trusted in God. Though it is not easy, but we are made to know that difficult times are part of life. Difficult period is part of life. We are bound to face challenges. We are bound to face tests in form of different ways. It can come as lack. It can come as delay. It can come as poverty. It can come as sickness. It can come as barrenness. It can come as failure. So difficult times can come in different ways. So the only made us to understand that difficult time is part of life. But irrespective of that, we can still find strength in God's love and draw closer to Him. So number one thing we have to do for us to have that strength is one, we should remember God's promises. Because the Bible has made us understand that God said, I will not leave you. No matter how the temptation, no matter how difficult the situation you find yourself may be, the Bible has promised us that he has overcome the world and that the problem can never overcome us. So whenever we see temptation, we see challenges, we see difficult period, as believers, we should not waver. We should not feel that our own world will have ended. We should not begin to run from pillar to post, asking ourselves, is there still God? God is still there. He has promised us that he has overcome the world, and he has overcome our problem. And he said that there is no kind of problem we are going to face that is going to consume our life. So, always anchor your faith on the promises of God. That's the number one thing you must do at every difficult period as a believer. Anchor your faith on the word of God, on the promises of God. Number three, number two, you have to pray. Find a prayer guidance. Someone that you both of you can always pray together. Because they say when two or three are together and call the name of God and God is there. Doesn't mean that when you call God on your own time that God will not answer you. Remember you are a difficult period. You need a counselor. The Holy Spirit is your counselor. Your partner whom you are praying together is your counselor. So at any difficult period... Please, my brother, my sister, find a guardian, find a partner. Both of you can stay together and pray. It will help you to overcome the challenges. Number three, seek the support of others. Two heads is always better than one. When things become so difficult as a believer, seek support from others. Either from your peer group or from your age group or from your family member or from other church members. The Lord will touch their hearts and they will assist you so that you will not fall out of faith and begin to seek for help where there's no help. Please, another thing you need to do again is read the word of God seriously. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. When you continue to read the word of God, the word of God will become flesh and dwell inside you and you begin to look like God. Remember, the Holy Spirit is at the basis of the Bible. As you keep reading the Word, the Word will become you. You will know who is Jesus, and you will know who is Holy Spirit, and you will know who is God. Then you will know who you are. You will now see that you are in Christ, and Christ is in you. And we all are in God. So when things become so difficult, please, make the Word of God your companion. Make Him your guardian. Make Him your everyday best book to read. Not that you will not read the word of God in ordinary time. But I encourage you, when things become so difficult, at a difficult time as a believer, which is the theme of this message, make the word of God your life. Read the word of God as if your life depends on it. By so doing, 
the problem, the challenges you are having will become like a, like a salt in your, in your eyes. It will become like nothing, like an atom in your eyes. You will not find it as a problem again. And when you begin to see it as not, it's not a problem anymore, it will disappear. It will begin to vanish. Even if it is pain. When you begin to see pain as, not, nothing, not, as, as nothing but just uh, 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 your leg or your body is hurting you, it's no more a ordinary pain, then the pain will begin to diminish because your spirit has become stronger than the pain in your body. But when you are looking at it as a pain, it becomes a pain. So take note. Another thing you need to do again is trust in God's plan. The Lord said, I have a plan for you. The plan for good and not the plan for evil. The plan to progress you and the plan to make things good for you in your life. Remember, God has a plan for everybody, even before the creation of the world. He said, I have a big plan for you. Plan to make you rich. Plan to make things better for you. Plans to make you fruitful. So always remember, the God, remember God's word. And trust in his plan for your life. And he has a better plan for you. God never has a, a bad plan for anybody. He has a good plan for all of us. But sometimes the devil will bring challenges of life to take us away from the promises of God. So when things become so difficult, my dear brother, my dear sister, please put your faith in God. Always remember his plans. That he has a plan for you. If God did not have a plan for you, and me and you, he would have not created us in this world. So all we need is have faith in his work, believe in his plan, and he planned well for you. And he has a good plan for you. They say destiny can be delayed, but it cannot be denied. No matter whatever the devil is doing, he can never deny you the plans of God upon your life. Only those who lose hope will fail. But if you, could not, if you cannot lose hope, you can never lose. Please, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, always trust in God's plan. Finally, for you to overcome challenges at any hard period, remember what the Bible says. The Bible says that the, our Lord has overcome our challenges. That word alone, for you to anchor your faith there and believe that Jesus says, he has overcome every challenges you may be facing. I don't know the challenges you are facing now. Just the way you don't know the challenges your neighbor is facing. But the word of God is telling us today. 